Hey, welcome into another edition of Bama and Bourbon with Aaron Suttles from The Athletic. I'm Lance Taylor from The Next Round. We do this each and every week where we talk about bourbon and we talk about, this time of year at least, Alabama basketball and where they are right now. Um, as we roll into Tampa, they're 19-12, 99-in conference. The funny thing, and I'll start here, and by the way, it's brought to you by The Beverage Place and Pink Package. We are profiling Town Branch Kentucky Whiskey Bourbon. We, we did this last week, but we didn't do the True Cask, uh, the high end. That's a little stronger. 109.3 proof. So as I open this up, I think what is really interesting, and I think you would agree with me, some people would say the Big 12, some people might say the Big 10. I think the SEC is the best conference top to bottom. Yeah, I'd probably agree with that. Yeah. So Alabama is going to be a six seed in the tournament in Tampa, and they are projected as a five seed in the NCAA <laughs> tournament. Yeah. Which is truly, uh, I mean, it's kind of amazing when you think about it. It's, it's, it's based on the strength of all their great wins. I mean, they, they probably have the best wins of any collective in the, in the country, at least out of conference. Yeah, look, and, and Bama fans get upset with me. They think I'm dogging this team out. I just think it's an inconsistent team it that is. turns over the basketball, which we will get to. They can't shoot the three consistently. And their best wins were a long time ago. Um, you know, the Baylor win, they weren't completely healthy. Baylor wasn't. Baylor wasn't. So, yeah, and the, they beat Gonzaga a long time. It seems like that was well, the day of the SEC championship. It was, football. yeah. So put that in perspective. It was three right. months ago, over right. three months ago. So this is True Cast Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. We told you about um, the Town Branch before. It was the first distillery that actually was built since Prohibition in the city of Lexington. In Lexington, yeah. So we tried this out. I think it was 90 proof last week. This is anywhere from 108 to 110 proof. We've got, what is your bottle? Mine is 109.3. 109.3. Okay. Um, the aroma's good. Um, I can't wait to see what we get on the back end of this because last week's was a little, it hit kind of hard. It's not as, there's the aftertaste, the, the the taste one going down is not as it's it's there a little bit, but it was not as strong as it was for me last. You're right, and I forgot what they said that back end taste was. Was it cherry that maybe they said it was? We couldn't put it. We couldn't put our finger on it. Yeah, we couldn't. Um, anyway, Kentucky Straight True a Cask Bourbon Whiskey out of Lexington Town Branch. We'll continue to talk about that a little bit. But back to Alabama basketball. Brought to you by the Beverage Place and Pink Package. It is Bam and Bourbon with Aaron Suttles from the Athletic. Lance Taylor next round. We do it each and every week. Tell your friends, tell them to like, subscribe it. Um, Alabama coming off the overtime loss to LSU. Yeah. Final possession in overtime is one of the worst you'll ever see. It's embarrassing. Yeah. And coaches got to prepare the players, but the players got to have, at this point in the season, J.D. Davis, he's not a freshman anymore. He's played enough basketball. You've got to know the situation. They're just really embarrassing. Well, and this is supposed to still, I'm still seeing projections. He is going to be a first round guy. It's I all don't about see the, it. It's all the upside with him. Yeah. Yeah. The athleticism. You know, Josh Primo, I still saw the upside with him last year. I don't know why. Maybe it's because we see maybe more of J.D. Um, but, you know, when we talk about the turnovers, I don't know if you realize, there's 350 teams in Division One basketball. Do you know what Alabama is coming into this tournament in Tampa? In turnovers, out of the 350. Probably 320. They are three, they're 320 dead on. Oh, are they really? Yeah, incredible. This is what this guy uh, gets paid for to cover Alabama uh, sports. But, yeah, 448 giveaways. They're 12 of 14 in the SEC. I don't even know who's 13 of 14. Um, Probably Vanderbilt and Georgia. He's got to be Georgia. Georgia's yeah. got to be 13 or 14. Uh, Quinterly's got 93 turnovers. Uh, J.D. Davison's got 88, and shackleford has got 62. So your guards have got, you know, um, I think almost half the turnovers, yeah. if not. Yeah, they're the ones that are put in the position to turn over the most, right? They're yeah. trying to create. They're driving, sometimes out of control. They, they leave their feet too much for passes, too. Like, you really, when you do that, you're either going to turn it over by carrying the ball and traveling, or you're going to throw a bad pass or, you know, a good pass. So, uh, generally, you know, you want your guard to keep their dribble and stay on the ground. They, they leave their feet a lot. Yeah, so it, it seems like as we dissected this season and Bamba would have a couple of losses in a row, you try to figure out what was wrong. And early on it was, can't hit the perimeter shot. And then it was, they're not playing the defense like they played yeah. last year. And now it's the turnovers are really magnified. Yeah. I think it's all three and just an inconsistent team in general. And that's what typically happens when you get a 9-9 conference record. As good as the conference is, and Alabama fans will get upset, and they'll point to Houston and Gonzaga and Baylor. Long time ago. Long time ago. And as we head into this game, they're going to get the winner of Vanderbilt, Georgia, which we'll see later today yeah. as we record this on Tuesday and they lost, night. they've lost to Georgia. Yeah, and, and they barely beat Vanderbilt yeah. in Nashville. And, you know, we didn't even talk. The LSU loss while the last possession was super embarrassing. You, you understand that. That's a really good team. You got them to overtime in our home floor. But – the stinker they had against Texas A&M. Well, they lose by 15, 16 uh, points. I mean, 
just at a, home. We thought they were. We, we agreed. That we thought they would split. They'd go one and one. Yep. They go zero oh and two. So. Well, you know, I did a bet with Dunaway, Jimmy Landmine, on the show, and I don't know if you heard this, but I said yesterday. I'll put Alabama's over under at one and a half wins for the remainder of the season. That's including the SEC tournament and the NCAA Ooh. tournament. So they're going to be favored against Vanderbilt. We had Todd Furman on, yeah. um, you know, a guy that really knows the ins and outs when it comes to sports gambling. And he said he's going to list Alabama as a three and a half or four point favorite over Vanderbilt. So virtually a pick. You get Crazy. past that, I don't see them beating Kentucky. They're not beating Kentucky. So then you go into I the SEC tournament. I don't think it's a they're going to beat Georgia or Vanderbilt. I don't, I don't either. And, but then you go to the NCAA tournament where I'm going to say if they do lose to Vanderbilt, they're probably a 6 or a 7. Yeah. And then you've got that 6-11 or 7-10 game, virtually a pick again. If you put them at 1.5 for us, I'd probably go under. Yeah. I think I, they, beat, they win the opening round tomorrow night, Thursday night. They lose to Kentucky. They lose first round of the tournament. Yeah, and that's going to be a really – I mean, when you put it in perspective with Herb leaving, with Primo leaving – yeah, I don't know, man. I expected more. I don't know about yeah. you. And Petty. Petty was one of the best three-point yeah. shooters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We forget about Petty. He was playing in Birmingham. But when you now. bring back the experience they had, especially two talented guards like they had, you bring in a five-star heralded freshman who's still, as you say, projected to be a first-round NFL uh, NBA draft pick. We just thought they would be better. Yeah. And they, they brought, you know, and they, they were hurt by injuries in the offseason. Again, you know, you'd like to have Burnett uh, as a part, part of this team. He probably would have completely changed them. But uh, I agree with you. I, I thought they were capable of being better. And we saw early in the season they were capable of being better. They've completely lost their confidence, I think. Yeah. So it's Bam and Bourbon with Aaron Suttles from The Athletic. Make sure you like and subscribe his stuff. Great reads. It's only a buck for everything on The Athletic right now. If you're a sports fan, you cannot beat that. This guy knows the pulse of Alabama football and basketball. And again, we'll probably... You know, hopefully next week is not our last week. Hopefully yeah. Alabama makes it out of the yeah. first weekend of the NCAA tournament. What a story tournament. that'd be. Yeah, it really would be. Um, but irregardless, we'll at least, I think, do a spring game maybe yeah. preview. we got spring football starting Friday. Yeah, so that'll be coming up. And uh, this guy knows all the ins and outs. And uh, we got a ton of additions to the coaching staff and a lot of position battles. So we'll get into that. But Bama and Bourbon is brought to you by the Beverage Place located next to the PGA Superstore on Highway 280. Pink Package located across from the Target next to Arby's on 280. One-stop shop, liquor, beer, seltzers, wine, sodas, mixers, cigars, ice, even fresh lemons and limes. They open early. They close late. Open at 9 a.m. every day except Sunday where they open at noon. Stop by. See Chan, Santana, Joe, all the fine folks, Beverage Place, and Pink Package. Again, we're talking about Town Branch. We had the regular bourbon yep. whiskey on last week. Uh, now it is the True Cask. True Cask. Cask strength. 109.3. I do like it better. Yep. Um, so I'll just go on and give. Th there's another. It's in the Fred No family, or I should say the Jim Booker Bean. No family. Bookers. It fluctuates between, I think, 117 and 129 yeah. proof. Yeah. And I'll sit around sometimes and sip on that. And then I'm just like out of my mind after about an hour and a half. And that's what happens when you start to get over these, yeah, these 100 proofs. proofs. Yeah. I mean, 109 gets up there a little yeah, bit. It doesn't. I don't really feel the 109 right now, though. Do you? I no. mean, but it, we're still in our first. Yeah, but it, first it, 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 a lot it, of it, these are right. It's not hit. strong. It's not burning like the other ones. I like, think like last week's did burn a little bit more than this one. This hmm. one's smoother, I think. It is a little smoother. Yeah. There's no doubt. And, the, and there's not as much aftertaste on this one. Maybe getting a little cinnamon on the front end. I think the the... The clarity, you know, the, the coloring is good. Um, yep. The back end still has that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A little bit. What we need is an absolute connoisseur, or maybe the guys that actually distill this to tell yeah. us what that back what, end what, is. What that tastes Because I don't know what it is. I can't yeah. get it. Um, anyway, it's good. Pick up a bottle of the Town Branch at Pink Package or the Beverage Place. So, SEC tournament, if you had to guess, your top seeds, Auburn, Tennessee, Kentucky and Arkansas. Who do you think wins this tournament? I think Kentucky does. Do you? Yeah, I think I just like the way they're playing right now. I love um, this team. I think they win the NCAA tournament right now. Now we'll see what happens. And yeah. but that's that's kind of the way I lean right now. I, I, I think all the pressure's on Auburn, and you know and we're not playing great season, right now. And they're not playing their best basketball. Yeah. They're still really good, but they're not playing their best basketball. And if they turn it on, then they're capable of another Final Four run. I mean, can you imagine? And again, you can plug, pick, and plug, and you know, do this with, with anybody, but if, if Alabama had a Jabari Smith, I mean, his last six games he's out, he's 21 to 37 behind the arc. Yeah, he's great. And he's a guy that really is unguardable when you think about it at 6'10". His, his size and the way that he can pull the defense out and shoot him, the way, you know, he, he plays inside, he's just a great 
play there's a reason that he's the freshman of the year yeah to, to me you know uh with with green off the bench and you know if kd is on if he's not yeah. you know forcing shots and missing a lot of shots you know the x factor is walker kessler who's played so well at times but he's banged up right now he's got yeah. that left arm brace on and i just don't know how healthy he is but that's going to be so important for auburn down the stretch he is i mean defensive player in the sec of the year he's i mean name a more valuable transfer to a college football or college basketball program yeah. this year. Well, I mean, I guess Auburn's got a bunch, right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they, they've done really well there. Yeah, so, I mean, it's it's become a portal game, not only in college football, but college basketball. So the tournament should be super exciting. I think there are four, to me, four teams. You know, Arkansas, Brown, Tennessee, Auburn, yeah, I, think, I love this Tennessee team, and I like Arkansas yeah. a lot. I mean, Ote is a guy, you know, as good as Tennessee was playing, and they were up 24 in the first half Saturday yeah. against Arkansas. They nearly blew that. Ote had an open look with 10 seconds left to tie that game up. So, yeah. to me, those are gritty teams that can make a Final Four run. I don't know if either team could win a national championship. When it all comes together for Auburn, they could. Kentucky and obviously could. And beat half those teams. They beat Arkansas. Yeah. And, and they beat Tennessee. Well, look, I, I hope for the state. I think it's exciting. You know, hopefully UAB will go on a run. Yep. We'll see them in the tournament. Jacksonville State's already there. We know Auburn's going to be there, whether it's a one or two seed. Sanford had a great year. They did. Alabama's going to be there. And I hope Alabama wins games. And Bama fans yeah. are giving me a lot of shit and telling me, hey, you didn't know what you were talking about. I just don't see this team because it's going to be so balanced, so much parity in this tournament for them to be able to go in and win Listen, we, multiple we games. We all agree they have the, the potential to go in and make the second weekend. We've seen it. But the problem, as you mentioned, is inconsistent. They are they look like wildly different teams from game to game sometimes. Okay, where are you on the bourbon? I like it better than last week, yeah, which I, I was agree. surprised because this is a higher uh, proof. As you said, it's 109.3, so I was a little surprised. It doesn't burn as much as I thought. This the cast drink would. Yeah. So I like it, it a little better than last week. And look, the packaging is kind of boring, but I love the bottles. Mm -hmm. Like, it's an old school bottle. Again, the weight on this, you can't tell. Very but classic. This, this thing's about three or four pounds. Again, yeah. we said it could kill a bourbon no if doubt. you needed it to. No um, but I love the weight on that. I think a really good bourbon glass has got good weight to it. So, um, not really fancy on the packaging, but the bottle, you'll love it in hand. And um, it can be a nice addition to the. I would suggest this over the regular. No doubt. Uh, straight bourbon whiskey. I completely agree. From Town Ranch. Or Town Branch, I should say. Brought to you by The Beverage Place and Pink Package. It's Bam and Bourbon. Hopefully, we'll have more than just one more show. Yeah. Because we'll play this Fun. out and see how it goes. Um, spring, when is the 8A game? April the 16th. Right? April 16th. Okay. Yeah. We've got a few weeks. Okay, we've got a few weeks on that. Uh, we do know who the quarterback is. Yeah. It's, it's, it's going to be Bryce. Primary receiver is going to be interesting, though, right? Yeah. You know, they, they brought in the guy from Georgia. Um, they got some freshmen that played last year. They got some freshmen coming in. Um, I think I think offensive line. I'm hearing some rumors that McLaughlin, who played center late in the year last year, is a little banged up. Uh, had some offseason procedure. He may not be fully available this spring. I don't think Darian Dalcourt's going to be fully available this spring. So we'll get a glimpse of the offensive line. But there are some guys going to be some guys out. I think. Okay, including and this will be the final thing, just because we're about to go into the tournament, and I, I know. Basketball fans get so beat up that we include football. Right. You know, well, so sacrilegious to do. Yeah. But if I asked you right now, Alabama's postseason wins next year, Alabama's postseason wins basketball this year. So Alabama, SEC championship SEC, possibly. Yeah, this, this football. Semifinal national championship. I think, Alabama, I think Alabama's winning the national championship football. Yeah, okay. So, I mean, even getting one puts you in the college football playoff. Yeah. So that's a great spot. Yeah. One just beats Vanderbilt or Georgia here. Yeah. But I tend to agree with you. I think at least two, because I think it's Ohio State, Alabama, and everybody else. I completely agree. Probably would have said that last year at Georgia won the national championship, yeah. but we'll see. I think a wild card, which you'll be happy, is I'm curious to see what USC does this year. I just don't think they've got enough Caleb Williams. up front defensively and on that offensive line. I think Caleb Williams, once he gets acclimated and comfortable, they're going to be really good offensively. And I think um, they could win the conference. I think they could. It's going to come down to Utah and USC that yeah. game. And I just think Utah's going to be really good. Yeah. But even if either one of those teams wins it, it's one thing, and we saw this with Oklahoma, once you get there, you've got to win a game to play yeah. for a national championship. Yeah. And they just seem a long way away from that. They probably are. But. With Aaron Suttles from The Athletic, Lance Hill from The Next Round, tell your friends, Bam and Bourbon, we do it every single week. It is brought to you by The Beverage Place and Pink Package. Pick up a bottle of Town Branch, the, the True Cask, 109 proof. Maybe you can find it higher proof, 110 proof. Tell your friends. Um, but make sure you like and subscribe to The Athletic and check out Aaron's work there. It's uh, Bam and Bourbon. We'll be back next week.